Welcome to Carswell's Customs. Uh, today we're going to talk about installing a GM 3-bar map sensor in, uh, in a 5.7 uh, Dodge Charger. I went to the uh, GM 3-bar map sensor um, when I put my uh, supercharger on. I put a GT500 supercharger on my, uh, on my charger. And uh, I went with the uh, GM 3-bar because of its availability. It was easy to get and it was in stock everywhere pigtails were available and then on DIY Auto-Tune um, they've got a great uh, uh, schematics and then even go over the uh, um, the pressure and the volts um, put all that information right out here so it was it was a pretty <laughs> pretty easy decision uh, since all the information is here when uh, when changing things you need as much info as possible so anyhow We'll get to it here. So let's bring up HP tuners. So you'll go to Airflow General, and then under Map, I went ahead and selected Sensed Map is enabled. It is defaulted disabled on the original um, on my 5.7 Hemi. And then we went ahead and went down to Characteristics to Map Sensor Linear. Now what this is, is it gives you the uh, manifold absolute pressure reading on the sensor or in the sensor for every one volt. So stock is 21 kPa per one volt and then the three bar is 64 kPa per one volt of the sensor. I also went to pressure ratio and uh, increased the PR ratio max to 2.5 and the PR ratio max turbo. 2.5. Any of the settings that showed pressure ratios that uh, that I could increase to uh, to mimic the uh, sensor's uh, capability, I went ahead and tried to keep everything uh, the same throughout the different chapters of HP tuners. So along with this normal chapter engine chapter, we'll have to go to engine diagnostics and then airflow here. So here's where some of those numbers are going to come in and they're they're quite uh, important. So max manifold abs absolute pressure that setting is 315.5 the stock one was 110 and then the min map is 1.1 again this information you get from uh, the DIY auto tune website it's got all this information already for you also change the uh, uh, map delta high and delta low to 250 uh, kPa. Barrel voltage minimum 0 0.01. And that should take care of the sensor settings, at least in diagnostic. So back to engine airflow general uh, under barometric pressures. Go ahead and disable the fine tune and disable the uh, barometric learning. All right, so fuel, PE, power enrichment. So these two tables, air charge and PR ratio, we'll go ahead and change those as well. We'll scale the charts here. So the original was 350 to 900 on the air charge side. And so I changed that from 500 to 2500. And how I did that was I... Just click this over here and brought this up. Selected 500, or no, I entered 500 on the on the bottom end, 2500 on the top end. Blocked it, and you click interpolate between horizontal bounds, and that'll give you the uh, smooth uh, linear increase. So the uh, this chart was scaled, and then the FA power and rich uh, was scaled as well. Uh, I just got to kind of watch your step here because. Instead of 500 up here on FA, this one is 0.5 to 2.5. So same situation though. You add 0.5, add 2.5, select it, and then interpolate between horizontal bounds, and that'll get you your, your scaling line here. So now we've got the air side of it done. Let's go ahead and change our spark tables as well to show our 
above atmospheric pressure uh, scaling. So, oops, not that one. So part throttle base, you can see that we go from 0.2 to 2.0 in the grams on the air charge side. Same situation, 0.2 to 2.0. Block it or select it all and then interpolate it. So we're going to do this for part throttle base, um, start, lock pin, all of these that allow you to change the uh, um, scaling, uh, change it. Some of them will automatically change after you make the change to base. They'll go ahead and move that data over. But you'll have to go through and verify every single one of them or all match up. We'll roll down here to wide open throttle. You'll do that for uh, wide open throttle, lock pin, base, alcohol, lock pin. Um, go ahead and make sure you uh, make those same changes. So wiring up the sensor into the stock uh, Dodge harness. Uh, this pigtail I got uh, was not from uh, DIY Auto-Tune. It was a piece of junk. But uh, I got it to work, and um, so you'll see the yellow with red stripe runs over the top here and goes to the far plug purples in the middle and then looks like blue with green stripe is um, on the tail end here of the um, sensor the sensors upside down but let's take a look here real quick okay so Right, so you rotate this sensor 180 degrees. It'll say, it'll show you the A, B, C, and where it goes, um, where each of these wires go. So, also, a quick Google search will probably get you um, some information. But this was um, figured this would be helpful. So I was uh, I did my tuning via uh, artificial neural network, uh, but just to keep everything. Uh, standardized. I don't know how many of these tables reference each other in the background. Um, HP Tuners doesn't allow you to affect every single parameter inside the, the Dodge computer. Uh, so I don't know what type of side chatter uh, these, uh, these tables do. So just to kind of keep things, um, you know, kosher between each other, I set up the uh, VE tables as well. So um, let's go engine airflow, speed density, engine airflow, speed density. And here we go VE bank one and two. So the same operation go to ratio, enter 0.15 to 2.0. One five, and then interpolate between vertical bounds, or I'm sorry, horizontal bounds. Um, once this happens, VE bank one, those settings should um, go ahead and flow over to uh, VE bank two as well automatically. But just make sure or verify these two are are matched up. Okay, so that should get you close to figuring out or entering the uh, um, information that's correct for the three-bar map sensor into HP tuners. Um, I haven't had any problems at all with it um, after I um, did the changes. I didn't have to modify anything. Here's a uh, data log that I showed in a previous video on how to uh, install Hellcat injectors. And you'll see here that the uh, map sensor is in white, and these are very normal readings for uh, for hot rods to uh, <laughs> to show so this is the uh, the map sensor in action um, haven't had any issues I guess I don't know why there would be it's a zero to five volt sensor that uh, reports manifold pressure uh, back to the computer so um, I don't think it's a uh, brand specific or anything like that so go ahead and throw one in um, throw some boost at it and um, and go from there Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you next time.